Football Manager 2023. Leche player rating. and shout out Jack Stevens, bruv. So we've got Salento here because there's a licensing issue or something as if you've been high speed chasing with the police because they're trying to take your donuts. Um, but yeah, um, we've got Salento. Nickname, Salentini. You get me? Um, owner status, loves the club, which is beautiful, bruv. We all love love. History, um, yeah, that's just pure dust in everybody's eyes. In fact, they just got promoted, bruv. So that's a little gem hunt. Oh, my days. Let me rub my hands for dramatic effect, bro. We've got a gem hunt right now. Let's see if there's any signable gems from Salento. You get me? For this squad, we're going from Bradimiro Valcon all the way to Samuel Oltermarini. Yeah, get me. First player that we've got is Vladimiro Falcone, bruv. Man's a first choice goalkeeper, but he's not yours. You've decided to loan him in, so you're already in the debt of somebody else. He is really good with 40 reflexes, 12 agility, and 31 ones, but he's not yours. And if you can get him permanently, I would. But that's if you can, bruv. Is he even willing to join you? I hope he is. Otherwise, we're going to have to scout someone or have to wait for a region to come through and just keep on getting packed until then possible relegation all right the next backup goalkeeper that we've got is my like marco believe bro yeah you better believe he's starting he's amazing he's got everything i want but in 13s it's only under average by one you get me we're not at the top of the Serie A. we're at the very bottom so man will take a 13 all round for reflexes agility and one on ones that's not too bad positioning under average by two i don't think he's the end of the world bro you get me he's got i wouldn't say you can get a no you can get a tune out of this guy and i would bro i'll start him instead because yeah i ain't relying on no one else's loan what do i look like bro and lastly for the goalkeepers we've got uh 20 year old Federico Brancoli Lini. Um, yeah, so, so loan that out immediately because we don't want a young goalkeeper sitting on the bench because he ain't going to develop if he's just sitting on the bench. So let's do him a favor, loan him out, let someone else do with that eight one on ones because that's terrible. Man said every one on one situation, he's going like this, covering his eyes, just getting pecked, bro. I ain't dealing with that. And I know you're not dealing with that either. Let's move on. Thank you. All right, the first outfield player that we've got is a 32 year old Alessandro. T toi cool um yeah that's a no nonsense and i agree with that 14 tackling 14 positioning and good physicals in the air he's amazing yeah um this guy the weirdest thing is that he's a no nonsense that when he clears it he might make a defense splitting pass because the guy's got 14 pass and he's very good no technical ability but very good passing um the nine composure means that it, it basically means this guy's one of them superheroes that don't know how to use his powers but that's what makes him so effective like he will unintentionally split a defense and put someone in through on goal and that's the reason why i wouldn't sign him but i'll use him in it no nonsense man can hold it down and he's just very competent in, in the art of defence. Can't really complain with that, you get me. Alright, the next outfield player that we've got is a 30-year-old Castroit Dermaku, bruv. Um, one, bruv, he's one of them, them bouncing beans that you drop on the floor and they just start bouncing all over the place, bruv. Probably even a bouncy ball. 17 jump reach, 15. Hey, he loves he loves jumping around, bruv. Um, in terms of the art of football, he ain't got that. So central defender was already going to be a myth, bro. You get me? That's just some Greek Greek mythology. Um, listen, 15 heading and... I already said that. 13 tackling and 13 positioning is good, though. So probably, no, nah, definitely another no-nonsense defender. And I think if you have them two together, it's going to be not formidable, but it's decent enough for no nonsense is, you get me? If you have two no nonsenses, I don't recommend you do it, but you might have to right now, so far. All right, so the next player that we've got is a 19-year-old Matia. Yeah, so let's just put it like this. I had a feeling something like this would happen where we're going to have to go through a lot of grubble or, or what is it debris to find gems bro so man basically in africa right now digging for gems bro that's what i'm doing with my bare hands and yeah this is just pure dust literally that you get that's just a matter of the fact bro this is what it is isn't it um you know them artists that make albums but there's only like two good songs on a 13 song album it's one of those ones where yeah i might see a gem or two out of how many complete utter dusts you get me. Alright, the next player that we've got is a 22-year-old Valentin Gendry, bro. Very good physicals in there for the pace, all 14. Um, positioning and off the ball, very good as well, 14 and 13 in there. Technically, 12 to 11 and 12 passing isn't that great, but it's still good enough. Well, competent at least, bruv. Good crossing, not a dribbler, so we'll make him fullback support. But now, Bandit, because he's better 
at defending, I think his best position is full back defend, not even wing back because he can't dribble. So why would you want him to be as a wing back? Man, we'll make him a full back defend and lock off a wing, yeah? You get me? Same way police, police lock off a party that's getting a bit too out of control. Man, we'll come to that, to that full back position, lock off the flank, bruv. Hopefully, you get me. All right, the next player that we've got is a 25 year old, Matt Setin, bruv. Bring up all the, all the, all the Turkish man, them, you get me? Um, yeah, he's ridiculously aggressive, bro. We're looking at the, the real life Bruce Banner. Just on pure violence. You won't like him when he's angry. Listen, um, 15 tackling, it's very good. No positioning though. But because he's on loan, it makes me feel a little bit better that I don't have to see that forever. At least I have an option to not have to sign him, which makes me feel a lot better. I'll be honest, bruv. There's no strings attached. That's like you being the side guy in the partnership where someone's actually in a relationship. Yeah, but you're the guy that's just going around every once in a while to do, you know what? You know what time it is. You know what time it is. But yeah, um, Nasty but good at the same time. I don't know what to say about these men apart from just moving on and you having to decide yourself because I don't know. I think he's good and bad at the same time. You get me? Wow. Wow. We've got man like Samuel Umtiti on loan from Barcelona playing for Leche, bro. That is unbelievable. That's like you know when you have a pair of socks, yeah, and then you just lose it and it just doesn't exist on the planet of on, on the face of the planet of earth and then two weeks later under your couch or in between the couch you just see your pair of socks this is what it feels like it's like oh my days there you are there you are i mean yes i mean he's still good it's mad bruv he's actually still good yeah but stat wise i don't think any of these stats matter when the man's got six natural fitness he's just not up for the battle bro He's just losing every physical battle. Like literally, he'll be running, and then all of a all all of a sudden, he's no longer running. He's holding his fire because somebody you you would have thought somebody shot him in his fire, but no, it's just his legs just can't handle that, bro. He's just not built like that. You get me? Simple as man, like um titty. All right, the next player that we've got is a twenty four year old Marin Pongracic, bruv. This is quite a very good centre back that you've got on loan I would have to sign permanently if I manage in this side bro I can't lie I'll put all my money into that um, I'll make him an asset to the club six foot three of good strength jump and reach heading's not there but I don't care he's a centre back ball playing defender with 12 to 8 12 and 13 passes very good um, tackling 14 yeah bravery aggression he's a central defender for me even though ball playing the fit, nah, I'll keep him ball playing, but nah, he's really good though. So um, that's a little gem. That's that's the first one for me. I ain't gonna lie, he's he's amazing, bro. You get me. Next player that we've got is a twenty-year-old Mats Lemons. Yeah, loan him out, right? <sighs> loan him out because it is quite sour, Lemons. Next, we've got a twenty-five-year-old Federico Bashiroto, bro. Man has got nine technical ability, ten composure, and ten first touch, bro. And he's a footballer. All right, say nothing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that can't run. Unfortunately, the fact that we we have to watch him defend, fighting tackle, and fighting position isn't bad. But I don't trust him no more. I don't care. I'm sorry. I'm being so petty right now. No nonsense, fullback. I'm so petty, man. Jesus Christ. No, he's he's usable. You can get a tune out of him, but I just don't want to. I don't. I just don't want to see what would happen if he's forced to play football. Nah, I'm sorry. That's so dusty. Next, we've got a 20-year-old Rob Nizet, bruv. Send him on loan. There's no other reason why you shouldn't, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's just pure dust. Let's be honest. But he's 20. Send him on loan, bruv. All right, the next player that we've got is a 24-year-old Giuseppe Pezzella, bruv. Um, first thing that caught my eye was the determination. 17 determination means that he's world-class. You get me? Star player isn't there for no reason. That's the... Bruv, that's the one reason star player is there, bruv, because the determination is so good. Physically, he's amazing. Tackling-wise, he's amazing, bruv, but um, that's about it, honestly. Not the best mentally in terms of his positionings, and technically his end product is not great either. So, um, yeah, wing-back defend, nah, sorry. It will have to be a full-back or even a no-nonsense full-back defend if you really wanted to use him. He's not even yours. Just remember that now. On loan from Palmer. So, yeah, they're having the, the fruits of his labour. I don't even know if that makes sense. But, nah, he's a good player, but he's just not yours. Hopefully, you can get him permanently, defensively, anyway. All right, next, we've got a 22-year-old Antonino. Gallo, bruv. All right, so very good pace, very good dribbling and crossing. Going forward, he's amazing. And because he's a fullback, I will allow him for the poor decision-making, concentration and composure. Literally, that's the only reason, yeah? Only reason. It's still poor, yeah? I'm not switching no sides. It's terrible. But because he's more meant to be defending and 13 tackling is good enough, 12 positioning is terrible. But 
I can still get a tune out of that going forward. Like, I'll let him run and do his own thing. I know he's not going to do the right thing, but I'll let it happen. He might do the, the right thing eventually. So that's why I let it happen, innit? You get me? Man like Antonino Gallo, I don't think he's the end of the world. He's not too bad. I like this guy. He's all right. Yeah, bench man. All right, the next player that we've got is man like Christian Bistrovic, bruv. This is the lowest I will go for this dusty... I can't say dusty no more. Jesus Christ. Listen, let me explain, yeah. Ball in the midfield. I'm used to seeing guys that can't play football. This guy, 12 technique, 13 vision and 10 passing. Bro, come on, man. But can I, can I, can I lie to myself right now and pretend that that pivot is competent enough to pass the ball? I don't think it is, bro. Therefore, I'm not I'm not having it. I'll be honest. Like, he's good at other areas. He hasn't even got positioning. He's good in other areas, yeah. But I'm sorry, man. He can't pass the ball, bro. The guy's 24, man. Well, what am I meant to do? Double intensity his passing training at 24, bro. That's like me training a grown man. Okay, how can I word this, bro? That's like me trying to make a grown man walk, bro. That don't make no sense. Yeah, listen. Let's just say I'm not putting man through that store I'd rather just send someone else it's just too much too much um wahala bro I ain't dealing with that still you get me all right the next player that we've got is man like Morten Schlumbland bro you get me big up all the Danish man them every single time bro um this bro these stats are like if you're playing Grand Theft Auto and then you put your pad down and then your your player just starts driving cars himself and stuff bro and just starts rubbing the corner man himself with his own gun, bro. That's what it's like. What? Well, let me explain. It's like he's got everything you need, yeah, but he just doesn't know how to use it in it. Like literally, very good passing, good first touch in there. He's not even the best dribbler, but at least he can execute a pass, bro. But he's not gonna use his head in the right time, bro. So he's just doing his own thing. Literally, he's just roaming around himself. Very good off the ball. Like he's actually very talented. Mentally, we need to help him though, man. He's 23. It's not the end of the world. This is someone that I don't mind building with. You get me? I'll help him out still. Um, it might cost his career, but I don't give a damn. I'll, I'll take that risk, bro. I'm willing to roll the dice. You get me? All right, the next player that we've got is a 21-year-old Pore Johan Helgason, bruv. So he's very good. Let's be honest. He's got everything that I want for a sense of an attack. Just not at the highest quality. Also, when he's about to execute one of his passes or a shot or a cross, it's like someone's got a taser wrapped around his body and they just go boom and he gets zapped every time he's about to execute something because of the nine composure it's just not pretty it's just not pretty to watch bro let's be honest man it's, it's gonna be very hard to watch still um but yeah he's good in it so 21 as well i'll give him the benefit of the doubt i don't think he's a bad player at all if he had better composure a couple better things technically i'll probably sign him he's really good man like pure bruv you get me Next, we've got a 21-year-old, Christopher Askilden, bruv. All right, so he's a ball in the midfielder with 13 tackling and 13 positioning, which is good. Um, yeah, that's probably all he needs. The fact that he's got 11 technique, 11 vision and 13 passing is good enough as well. Yeah, literally, so he just wins the ball, not at the highest level, but at a decent level, win it. That's it, bruv, man, can't complain with that. You get me? If he's sitting on the bench as well, that's decent, bruv. I don't mind it still. Six foot three, he's quite imposing, but he's... Oh, wait, he's really good in the air. Possibly even centre-back. If you had to put him centre-back, you could. I, I might sign that permanently just based on the competence. He's got competence, at least. All right, next we've got a 25-year-old Alexis Blin, bruv. Yeah, he... Okay, yeah, he's really, really just just surprised me there. I wasn't expecting that, and I don't know why. It's like me trying to judge a movie that I haven't watched. But yeah, dictates tempo. Good composure. Good enough composure. Technique, vision and passing is very good, bruv. Good first touch, good concentration. He's got what I want. I ain't going to lie, and he can win the ball very well. We've met him on Carol Alero. He can't dribble, so now I'm that. Strip him off that like a chicken strip. Chicken strip him off that. Probably ball winning. No, I don't think I can do that willingly. Deep line playmaker, you know. Honestly, like, yeah. Deep line playmaker still. I can't see it right now, but let's just imagine it in our heads. Yeah, I see it. Deep line playmaker. My, like, Billin, he's good. 25, he's a good player. Alright, next we've got man like John Bjorkengren, bruv, you get me? Um, Man like that, I like, let's say you've got a fizzy drink that you leave in the open for a couple of hours, you come back and it's just flat. Yeah, it's just very underwhelming. You're expecting a fizz, but nah, it's like you're drinking straight out from the tap, straight, bruv. Just pure flatness. Yeah, that's what these stats look like. It's good, but 
it's just not the same as what it would be if it was 14s and above, really. He's got the abilities, what I'm trying to say, but just not of that ilk, bro. I've made up that word, haven't I? No, I haven't. I took that from someone else. Who? All right, next we've got a 20-year-old, Juan Gonzalez. This guy's amazing for his age, bro. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll let him hold that title, bro. The only thing he's missing right now is composure. So I can't say amazing based on the composure, but I can say he could be amazing. By the age of, let's say, 24, if his composure not skyrockets, but is significantly improved, I would put this guy in a better team. I ain't going to lie. No disrespect to Leche, but I feel like he can he can go far. He can go far, man, especially if his tackling goes up as well. Tries to play where I trouble now, that. That's asking him to get tackled and asking him to lose confidence. Delete that trait, bro. You get me? Control, alt, delete that trait. Bruv, nine, nine dribbling, eight flare. Don't you dare put that trait in my eyes, bro. I ain't seeing that. I ain't seeing that, bruv. You get me? I ain't trying to see that rubbishness. Let's just keep him to his strengths. Thank you. All right, next we've got 25-year-old. Gabriel Strefeza. You get me? Um, 14 dribbling and 13 flares, amazing. Let's be honest, bro. Man's got 14 finishing, you know, cutting inside with promise, bro. And I mean promise. He's got 15, 10, 8, 5 vision and 14 passing as well. He's one of those guys, end product wise. He's unbelievable. He's got it. He knows what to do. Like, he knows how to cross, shoot, and pass the ball. All at the level of 14. The guy is 5 foot 6, one of my little minions. There's a time and a place for my little minions but nah that that is amazing he's just missing a bit of composure and a little bit of concentration in there but i'll i'll be completely honest i'm still starting the guy i'll be honest bro whether that's striker i don't even want to put it my wide i'm probably putting that up front if i can't see another striker that's got better finishing he's playing up front for me you get me man like advanced forward gabriel strefez at 25 he's that kind of guy five foot six i'll slap him right up front he'll still win all the headers with six jumping reach in this game I'm being deadly serious. I've seen it, bro. I swear to God. All right, next we've got a 24-year-old Martin Liskowski, bro. If you get me, um, man's transfer listed at the age of 24. Let's see why. Why? Why would you do that to him? Two reasons. Composure is eight. So they're fed up of watching him almost break his ankles every time he touches the ball. They're fed up. I would get fed up with that too. I don't blame you already. But it's also the fact that the decision making when he eventually makes the ball simmer down from the way he aggressively controlled it with his terrible composure he makes the wrong decision so so what's the point of all of that bro man went through all of that just to make the wrong pass so yeah i'll just get rid of it bro instead of letting the tree grow instead of, let, instead of letting the seed grow to a tree that can't be defeated you kill the seed and eradicate all all possibilities of disaster you get me oh my goodness gracious me you get me i don't think i've seen anyone as bad as this and he's 20 man he's young he's a young guy He's a really young guy, but boy. And then we got this guy who's so dusty that he, you know what? Yeah, someone who was it? Alex told me that they have some dust. There's something that you can do that can eradicate dust, bruv. I think it's actually called a duster. We need some of those right now. Still, I might have to actually cop one, bro, just to have it, bro. Or maybe that's a bit too much. Then again, I don't give a damn, bro. I might need it. Still, so much dust in the area right now. And the next player that we've got is man like Remy Udin, somebody that you've loaned in that can't make the right decisions, bro. So that's like me going to my neighbor right now and asking them to borrow a remote that don't flip in work, bro. Man's trying to watch the news, BBC One, and then all I'm seeing is Food Network on the TV showing me how to roast my potatoes. Sharp, man. I don't care about anything else apart from decisions. I'm so petty, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I that's just me that's me i'm being honest man i'm just trying to be real i'm just trying to be real over here i ain't gonna lie bro all right the next player that we've got is a 28 year old asan cise bro yeah he's definitely your top scorer let me tell you why first he's got ridiculous pace the, the, the second pff, jesus christ secondly man's got the knox ball past opponent trait but we already know that that's not true it's the first touch meaning that when he gets into the right position eventually because of the pace he'll be scoring hella tappings but in in his head, he's trying to control the ball. But in reality, his first touch is so bad, it's just turned into a goal, bro. He's banging in goals without even trying, bro. Literally, that's what you want. Yeah, that is what you want. You want your strikers to effortlessly score. Even when they're trying to control the ball, they're scoring, bro. You get me? That is the story of Asan Cisse. All right, next we've got man like Lamek Banda. We've met him on the left and the right wing, naturally. The guy's five foot three, bro. Jesus Christ. 16 pace, 15 agility, 16 acceleration. He's off. 
Um, end product needs to improve, but right now it looks like he's going to turn into a shooter, literally just cut inside and bang it in it. So if that's what he's doing, I'll probably loan that out. Probably, yeah. Inside forward, loan him out, you get me? If you have to um, start him, inside forward. All right, next we've got a 20-year-old Itu Momo. Yeah, Jesus Christ, bro. Um, send that on loan. Simple as I ain't got no jokes right now. Just pure sevens and sixes in my face, bro. I have to get out of there. It'll get very sticky for me. All right, next we've got Federico Di Francesco. Um, what's his best position? I have a shadow striker or inside forward. I say shadow striker because the off the ball is amazing, but he's got very good determination, like amazing determination. So he's got what it takes to do shadow striker still. And um, you don't need decision making for the, sh for the shadow striker. So yeah, I'll probably choose shadow striker, honestly, if I'm using Federico De Francesco. Man, will run up in man's face, start making man shiver in their timbers. You get me? All right, the next player that we've got is a 20 year old Pablo Rodriguez, bruv. Look at this guy. He's got everything I want. Literally, I can't complain. Like, for his age, the guy's 20. He's what I would expect from a 20 year old, if not slightly even above average. And he's playing for Leche or, or Salento. That's a little gem, I'll sign that. The reason why is because man's got 13 dribbling and 12 flair, which is good enough on the ball. You've met him on left wing. You could put him striker right now, comfortably, with 14 composure and 13 finishing. Oh my God, did I just say that? 14 off the ball and 13 finishing is good enough for me. And then he's got amazing pace as well, so he's leaving hella dusty old guys behind, bro. You get me? Yeah, he's quite the gem today. For this for this video, he's today's gem, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That is one for your striker market that's crashed, yeah? Ooh, the man them that said that. You man know who you are. That's one of them that just prove you all wrong, yeah? What a signing, you get me? Oh, my God. Just when I thought it couldn't get any better, they decided to bless me with a capital B, bro. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Finishing 14. The guy's name is Lorenzo Colombo. Um, why do I feel like I'm advertising this to you? Um, listen, I don't think I have to do too much advertising. I think you can see for yourself. Whether that be a pressing forward right now or for the future. <laughs> Advance forward as well, mate. Nah, let's not force that one. Poacher. Defo Poacher. You get me? Listen, those two rolls right now. 14 finishing, 14 heading. Yeah? This guy's going to go far. Oh, God. He's going to learn from Milan. Ah, you know what? It's, it still kind of works out. I don't think Milan will ask for too much. But even still, the, the guys that are managing AC Milan, you've got a... A uh, wonder kid, in my opinion, coming back to you still. He's going to be a star in the future. Definitely a goal scorer for me. Man needs to work on a bit of the mentals, but one for the future, most definitely. And the last player that we've got is Samuel Ortrem. Yeah, shut up, man. Listen, decision making means that I wouldn't release him straight away. I'll send him on loan. Because of the simple fact of, this, of the decisions, I'll give him a chance, bro. Because I know what stats develop like. It takes years, but man, he's years on loan and i'll give him about three seasons on loan bro just go out there and show what you can do simple as bro you get me he's good but obviously right now there's levels bro you get me and this is how i am lining up salento bro so let's just explain this one now because i've decided to take it um into my own hands as if what i would actually do if i was to manage them so first of all goalkeeper he's not yours but you'd have to use him let's just be honest bro wing but <sighs> Fullback defend. Giuseppe Pezzella. It's actually not too bad. I ain't going to lie. That, I would replace. Right back. It's political still. I ain't going to lie. I'm not using that right back, bro. I'll get rid of that guy, bro. I ain't going to lie. Pongracic and Umtiti are two amazing centre-backs. One is on loan. The other one is on loan. Jesus Christ. Anyway, central midfielder on support. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. I'll use that role for my like Alexis Blin. You get me. And we've got deep plan playmaker on defend. Shlubland, bruv. You get me. He's all right still. He's all right. He'll develop. Strefeza, very good player. Cutting inside and banging it. Very good finishing. Um, Banda, I don't want to put him out there. And I'll probably get another right winger as well. So it's probably the right hand side, in all honesty. And then up front. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. I made a big mistake there. Shadow striker. I would probably get another one as well. So that's three positions, even though he's good. He's good. I don't think I replace it. Nah, I will first season. I'm getting another one star. I'm not going to lie. But um, on the right wing, Bander as well, replace him. And up front, we've got my like Rodriguez. He's today's one, the kid, in my opinion. Um, even though they got more than one, he's the one that took it for me. Yeah, he's a very good player. Very good player. So yeah, that is how I'm lining up. Salenta. Salento, Jesus Christ. 
And that is the Salento player ratings, bruv. Um, that's something different, obviously. So it's, it's a different kind of team. We don't go these far before. Actually, yes, I have. I've done so many. But no, no, no. Um, many more to come. You get me? You, man, have a good day. Smash your days. Have an amazing day. You get me? Um, safe.